You know, the Ozark Mountains cover thousands of square miles. There's millions of hollers and ridges. There's places in these hills that have not yet to this day been seen by man. Isn't that amazing? Somebody figures out, figured out a few years ago that if you, if you iron the Ozarks out flat, it'd be the size of Texas with Arizona thrown in. That's quite a figure, isn't it? You know, and deer and bear and bobcats and mountain lions, they're not the only critters we got inhabiting these hills. We got a varmint around here we call the jimplicute. It's a big critter, like one of those dinosaurs you read about, and it walks the roads at night, catching travelers by the throat and sucking their blood. Now, the high behind is a big critter with hind legs ten times larger than its forelegs, and it lies along footpaths of a night like a giant toad, and it laps up little children like a toad frog catching flies. While the beast can suck in its gut so it's skinny enough to hide behind a tree, it's it's ever bit as dangerous as the king doodle and the gollywog. Now the whistling wampus cat is a big black cat, smarter than a man, and it lures fellers to their doom by whistling at them from dark cedar thickets. There used to be a lot of them hereabouts around in Stone County. Now the hickle snoopus and the ring-tailed tutor are both members of the wampus family. Now the ring-tailed tutor I've never seen, but I have heard them before. Up on Coal Fork, up it branches off of uh, North Sillamore Creek up by Barkshed. Up in there in, in the evening, right before dusk, the ring-tailed tutor will bury its head in a gravel bar on the side of the creek and emit a high whistling sound from a little orifice that's located directly under its tail. <laughs> now the gow-row is a great lizard-like animal 30 foot long with razor-sharp teeth and tusks. It's a member of the goofus family. It spends most of its time in caves and under rock ledges. It eats meat, devours a good number of deer, cattle, probably even a human or two. In 1889, a gowrow was killed not far from here, over near Marshall up in Searcy County by a fellow named William Miller. And he sent its hide and bones off to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Now these critters I'm telling you about tonight, the, the hickle snoopus and the whistling wampus cat, they may be fairy tales, I don't know, but I do know that the guy where I was real because I pretty near saw one just a few years back. There was this showman feller from up in Missouri, and he'd captured him a live young gowrow, and he was taking it around the countryside, showing it off. And he, he came through Mountain View, and he headed at the fairgrounds right around the bend from the folk center here. A bunch of us fellers from up at Fox and Timbo, we brought our families down to have a look at that gowrow. Out on the outside of the tent, there was a life-size painting of the gowrow in the act of eating an entire family of cotton farmers. It was horrible. But we paid our money, and we no sooner got set down in that tent, but there came a terrible roaring noise backstage, and there was chains clanking, and all of a sudden a woman screamed, and a couple of shots rang out, and that showman fellow, he staggered out in plain sight of all of us, and he had blood all over his face, and his clothes was torn to shreds. Run for your lives, he hollered. The gowrow has escaped. Just then, the back part of the tent collapsed, and there was more shouting and shooting going on. I'm telling you, we grabbed our women and children. We got out of there just as fast as we could. It was a mighty close call. I kind of wish I'd seen that guy around, though. Huh? <laughs>